Today, we're going to go over an embroidery hack with your regular sewing machine. That's right, we are going to be embroidering with no embroidery machine and no foot. And to top it off, we're going to use the simplest stitch ever, the straight stitch. And the great thing about this is that you can do it on like any regular home sewing machine. It's so cool. I'm gonna give you lots of tips and tricks to make sure this turns out great for you. So come on, let's start. Speaking of sewing techniques, if you're looking to improve your sewing skills, make sure you check out my online sewing academy. There's a link down below in the description. And check out my sewing club. It's a lot of fun. You get a new pattern every month and you get to hang out with me in the Discord. And if you've been enjoying my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. Now let's get back to this technique. The first thing you need to do is hoop up some fabric or a garment that you wanna put some embroidery on and make sure you add some interfacing to the back. Having a nice stable back is going to make sure this turns out nice and even for you with your thread not pulling through. Now I am using a machine embroidery hoop, but you can just use a regular hand embroidery hoop too. Any kind of hoop you have, you can use for this. Next, we're gonna draw our design in the middle of the hoop. Try and keep it away from the very edge of the embroidery hoop because we do not want to risk sewing into the edge of the embroidery hoop. That could be very scary. Now, you don't have to sketch out a design first, but I find it helpful to have some sort of guide here while I'm doing this. You could totally freehand it and just start stitching away, letting your mind work those stitches. And if you need some help with ideas and inspiration, check out some of these design transfer books. This one used to be my mom's. Um, and I have it here in my studio now. So these are great to go through and take a look to get some inspiration. Today, I'm going to be using this design here to embroider, and I'm going to be using four different colors of thread to really bring this design to life. Such a cute little flower, love it. Now we're gonna set up the machine so that way you can start stitching. And I wanna mention again, you don't need any special foot for this. We're actually going to be using no foot today, but there are feet specifically designed for free motion open embroidery like this. So feel free to use one. I could go either way on this, using a foot or not using a foot, but you can definitely see the design you're creating so much better without the foot on there. Now that I have everything prepped, it's time to show you the trick to doing this. Now we're gonna take off the sewing machine foot here, the presser foot. This is like going barefoot at the beach for sewing. We're gonna put that away. Okay, and now what we need to do is disengage the feed dog. So somewhere in your machine, there's gonna be a little button or a lever or a menu item where you can lower the feed dog. So I've lowered my feed dog, so they are not gonna pop up above this plate here. We are gonna be in full control of moving the fabric wherever we want it. The feed dog are not going to pull it. Now we're gonna lift up our foot, even though we don't have a foot on, and we're going to get the embroidery hoop in here. And now we are going to start wherever you would like to start. I'm gonna be starting at the bottom here. But before we do anything, we are gonna take our hand wheel on the sewing machine and we are going to pull it towards us, one rotation, and then we're gonna pull up the bobbin thread. So go ahead and pull up that bobbin thread there. So now you've got two threads. And what we're going to do is make sure we end up stitching over these so that way we can secure our embroidery design. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of my design and I'm using the green thread for my vines first. So if I want to go backwards, I need to pull it backwards. So I am in full control of how this is moving. So if I want to come forward again and make this design thicker, I can. We can keep those threads over there. So I'm going to be working my way all the way through this design here. And notice how I can come forward again and really work this and make this line thicker. And if you want, you can turn the hoop right around so it's easier for you to see. Now you are guiding this hoop, you are moving it. So think of this as like your little steering wheel. So I'm going to come all the way up to here. And you can turn your design whenever you need to. I'm gonna turn and come up to my other vine.
Now that I'm at the end of my green color, I'm just going to back stitch a little bit here, going over some of these stitches back and forth. And then I am good to take out my needle, pull it out and cut. Now I've put on my purple thread and I'm going to use a little bit of a longer stitch length in the top of the flower. And I'm just going to outline the edge of the flower. Embroidering this way definitely gives the embroidery a little bit more of an organic look. So you can really play with this and choose how fast you want to pull it through for how long your stitches are going to be or how short your stitches are going to be here. So you can really have a lot of fun with this. Now I'm done with the last purple flower here and we're going to move on to one of the other design parts. Now I'm moving on to the other pink color in the flower. And we're done. This turned out really awesome. Check this out. And we just did this with a straight stitch. So you can really have fun with these embroidery designs. You can change your stitch lengths by how fast you're moving it or pulling it. In some spots, you can make it really dense. You can keep it really open in other spots. And you can change your colors as you go, really making your design stand out. So next time you're looking to add some creativity to your garment or project, I hope you give this technique a try. This is just so cool. We got this to come from our straight stitch sewing machine because it looks like it came from an embroidery machine, but it totally didn't. We did all of this work ourselves on the straight stitch machine. So cool, right? Let me know what you think of this technique down below in the comments. And do you use this technique on your projects or are you gonna give it a try and see what it's like? Thanks so much for watching Sewing so Anastasia today. If you have any questions about this free motion embroidery technique, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video today, make sure you like and subscribe to Sewing so Anastasia. It really helps out the channel a lot. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, well, thank you so much for watching today. These videos are for you guys. Let me know what other videos you want to see. Leave it down below in the comments. And if you're in Chicago, come on into my design studio here and take some sewing classes with me. And if you're not, well, that's okay. Just make sure you check out the online academy. There's links for both of those down below. And make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting in the stories everything going on in the studio and what's coming next. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.